Should you be concerned about the oxalate levels in cacao having negative impacts on your health? Let's dive into this and see how worried you should really be. And there's a study I'm going to show you towards the end of this video that's really going to surprise you. I want to start by saying that of course there's potential for, for me to be biased here as the owner of the world's healthiest chocolate company. But in situations like this, I always try to stick to the facts so that you can quite easily verify yourself. Now, why do people worry about oxalates? Because in certain cases, not always, but in certain cases, they can contribute to kidney stone formation and impair some nutrient absorption. On the nutrient absorption front, while oxalates can sometimes bind to certain minerals and impair their absorption, the amount of oxalates that you're ingesting in a serving of cacao or chocolate is generally not enough to significantly impact overall nutrient absorption for most people. When you're eating a well-rounded healthy diet, the overall impact of oxalates from something like cacao is generally going to be pretty negligible, especially when you consider that cacao itself is packed with nutrients, especially things like magnesium and flavonoids and fiber. Now let's talk about the kidney stones. Depending on what population of people you look at around the world, between 1 and 15% of the population are kidney stone formers. In the US, it's about 10% of people, and about three quarters of these people are men. While dietary oxalate consumption is one factor, it's far from the only factor. Some of the other main factors are things like having a poor overall diet, dehydration, certain medications, and living a sedentary lifestyle. And two of the biggest factors are one's genetics and gut microbiome. So as you can see, oxalate consumption is just one piece of a much bigger puzzle here. Oxalates are found in lots of foods. Some of the highest oxalate content foods are spinach, almonds, potatoes, beets, legumes, raspberries, and dates. There are some steps that can be taken to reduce oxalate content with certain foods, like fermentation, which we do with our cacao beans. And while cacao and chocolate are still on the moderately high end of the oxalate spectrum, there's more to the story than that. You can look at a food's oxalate content, but it's really better to look at the food from a holistic perspective to get the full picture. Yes, cacao is up there when it comes to oxalate content, but we should also look at the other elements of cacao that act in the opposite direction, helping to prevent kidney stone formation. First of all, cacao is the highest food source of magnesium, which helps to prevent the formation of kidney stones by inhibiting the crystallization of oxalate and calcium in the urine. Cacao is also high in a special kind of flavonoid antioxidants called epicatechins. These reduce oxidative stress and inflammation, which are significant factors in kidney stone formation. These epicatechins can also improve renal function and urine composition. The polyphenols in cacao have also been shown to reduce oxalate absorption in the intestines, which lowers the risk of kidney stone formation. And they also have a positive influence on the gut microbiome, which in turn affects the way that your body metabolizes these oxalates. Cacao also contains potassium, which can help lower urinary calcium levels, and the fiber in cacao can help to reduce oxalate absorption as well. In fact, when we look at how much of the oxalates in cacao actually get absorbed, it's about 1.82%. And there's another huge factor that most people aren't aware of. A key process in the formation of kidney stones is what's called crystallization. The main stimulant compound found in cacao is called theobromine. It's kind of like a cousin of caffeine, and theobromine inhibits the crystallization of uric acid in the urine. It's preventing kidney stones from forming. Look at this study from 2018. They had participants consume either milk chocolate, cacao powder, or dark chocolate, and they tested the urine for various substances, including theobromine and uric acid. After consuming cacao powder or dark chocolate, there was a significant decrease in the uric acid crystallization in the urine compared to the tests before having any chocolate and compared to the tests of those who ate the milk chocolate. The researchers concluded from this that the higher levels of theobromine could potentially be used to prevent the formation of uric acid and kidney stones. Now, please understand that none of what I'm sharing with you today is intended as medical advice or guidance. You should always make important decisions about your health with the guidance of a doctor who's deeply familiar with your individual situation. 
I'm just someone who loves reading and learning about the marvels of how our bodies interact with what we feed them, and I love sharing my findings with you. If you're a kidney stone former and want to take a cautious approach by moderating your consumption of cacao products, that's a reasonably safe approach to take. There's no food in the world that's going to be perfect for 100% of people. But definitely also make sure that you're watching out for other less nutritious oxalate sources. I'd hate for you to cut out cacao and still keep getting lots of oxalates from spinach and soy and potatoes. And make sure that you're staying well hydrated, not living a sedentary life, that you're working on improving your gut health, and learning about herbs like chanca piedra. But I hope that what I've shared with you today has helped give you a more holistic and well-balanced understanding of this, so that you can continue enjoying the wonders of cacao without unnecessary worries. Before you go, here's a video that I think you'd enjoy watching next, and here's a video the YouTube algorithm thinks you'd enjoy. And there's a link to our website if you're ready to give the world's most delicious and healthy chocolate a try for yourself. Keep taking your health to higher levels, and I look forward to seeing you all again next time. Thank <laughs> you.